Hey, Chris Ferdinandi, the Vanilla JS guy, back with another Speedy Dev Insight. This time, I want to show you how you can get two-way data binding and data reactivity with just 15 lines of Vanilla JS. Let's imagine that we have two forms on our page. They both have the same fields in them, but they're in two totally different locations. When someone types in one, we want to automatically update the corresponding field in the other form. If we look at the HTML for our forms, we'll see that each one has an identical name attribute. So that first field has a name of title in both forms. But because IDs must be unique and only used once, the IDs on each field are varied from one form to the other. Each form also has a data form sync attribute on it that we can hook into with our JavaScript. For this challenge, we want to use what's called two-way data binding. What that means is that whenever one of our form fields is updated, we want to update some data object with its value. And whenever that data object is updated, we want to update all of the corresponding fields with that value too. And to make this work, there is an absolutely perfect browser native JavaScript API that we can use, proxies. A proxy object is a wrapper around an array or object that watches for changes to the object properties and lets you automatically run code in response. We'll create a new proxy with an empty object by using the new proxy constructor. We also need to pass in an object of handler or trap methods as a second argument. We'll pass in an object, and for this one, we only need a single trap method, set. This runs whenever a property value is added or updated. The proxy API has a ton of these, but for this particular project, we just need set. The default behavior for this method would be to update the object key with whatever value was provided and then return true. And you can see this method accepts a handful of arguments, the object being updated, the key to update, and the value to update it to. To update our field, whenever the data object is updated, we can use the query selector all method to find all of the fields whose name attribute has a value equal to the object key that we're updating. So in this case, I'm going to pass key equal or name equals and then the key that we want to update into the query selector all method and assign it to the fields variable. And then we can loop through each of these fields and update its value to whatever value was passed into the set handler. Now, if we update our data object, our form fields get automatically updated too. Let me jump over to the browser and show you. If I open up the console and I type in data title equals so long and thanks for all the fish, you can see that the title on both of our forms is automatically updated in response. To keep both of our forms in sync, we need to also update this data object whenever one of our fields is updated. And we can do that using an input event listener. So we'll attach this to the document so that we can listen for all input events that happen on the page. And inside the callback function, we'll use the closest method to make sure that the field that was updated, the event target, happened in one of our data form sync forms. And if it didn't, we'll use the return operator to end this callback function early. Otherwise though, we can update our data object with the name of the field and the current value of that field. And when we do this, this will update our object, which will cause the proxy argument to run our set handler function, which will update all of the other fields to match. So just as an example here, how are you today? Um, we can update the title with nice to see you. And you can notice as I type in one of these fields, the other field automatically gets updated to match. You can access all of the source code from this talk and learn more about two-way data binding and state-based UI over at gomakethings.com slash SOTV.